Hello and welcome back to more Oblivion. Look, I'm a vampire. Yeah, I may have accidentally become a vampire. Uh, literally in the last the last Thieves Skilled episode. Uh, last episode I did with Oblivion. That's about a month or two ago. It's been a while, but uh, I wanted to get back to this game. Because it's been way too long. Uh, no idea what I'm going to do today. <laughs> no idea. Literally just... Should we do some side quests? Let's do some side quests today. Can't you see that I'm upset? Uh, no. Um... That person? Our affairs are none of your business. I don't know who you are, and you think I'm going to talk to you about my ex-lover? Yes. Alright, so this is... Yeah, okay, so this must be a side quest. Not the one I was thinking of, but, um... Okay, I think we have to give her some right. money for her to Excellent. give us some I information. I suppose I can trust you with yep. this information. After all, if you can help me recover my stolen gold, you may find yourself earning some of it. All right, uh, stolen gold. I know what you've heard, all about Jorunda and his run-in with the town guard. Well, let's just say it isn't exactly all true. I've, I've heard nothing. <laughs> I may have let a detail or two leak out to entice someone such as you to assist me. Until you agree to my scheme, I don't want to say more. Uh, All I can promise is that you'll be making a lot of money. Yes, I'm in. All right, this sounds shady. I am out. This sounds shady. I'm in. <laughs> Smart answer. Here's the deal. Jorunda and I have had a rocky relationship at best. Against my will, I've been dragged all over Cyrodiil helping him commit petty crimes. I wouldn't say we're thieves. I mean, we've stolen things, sure. But we've never stolen that much at one time. Just enough to keep us going. Yeah, that's still classified as fees. That is until last year. Jorunda started to take risks and began robbing more dangerous targets. Not just lone merchants, mind you. I'm talking about the bigger scores, like estates and tax shipments. I begged him to stop, as I knew that his capers would one day lead to violence. He just threatened to hurt me if I got in his way. I think the gold changed him, I really do. He wasn't the man I met seven years ago. The few times I tried to say something, it strike me or push me away. Alright, what the hell am I meant to do? <laughs> uh, what does this have to do with me, exactly? Our last score was a tax shipment being delivered to the Imperial City. We robbed it, and in the midst of the chaos, Jorunda killed a guard. I was mortified. We snatched up the gold and holed up in the mountains. He said if I breathed a word of the murder to anyone, he'd kill me. I was terrified of him at this point. Two days later, the Bruma City Guard traced us to our makeshift campsite. I was off gathering food, but Jorunda was captured. Served him right. When I went back to the site later, the gold was gone. He'd moved it! What I need you to do is go to the Bruma Castle dungeons and speak to him for me. Convince him to tell you where the gold is and then we split it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't sound like you're, you're that much of a better person, to be, to be fair. But anyway, this is coming from me and, you know, I'm like the king of the thieves. Or the leader of the thieves. I'm the Grey Fox, as they say. Um... Oh, right, so I guess we have to go to the dungeon and, uh, and yeah, and talk to her husband. Loading area. Oh, look at those beautiful mountains. Beautiful scenery. But, uh, extremely cold here in Burma. Burma. I remember playing this game. This was before Skyrim came out, and I remember, because this is practically in Skyrim. Well, it's just in the outskirts of. Uh, it's between the border of the uh, Cyrodiil and, and Skyrim, and I remember like thinking, well, if the game's going to be set in Skyrim, then I was just thinking the whole place will be snow, but uh, it's good to know that Skyrim has some grassland. Um, yeah, anyway, where the hell is the dungeon? Uh, this one, I don't know. I'm just, oh, there we go, I guess correctly. Uh, late uh, this door it's locked I think I have to get a guard hello so tires afternoon sir good afternoon uh visit prisoner what a bother don't be too long about it I got to stay with you so there isn't any funny business yeah that's cool that's cool 
You think there'll be at least two though, because he he'll be with me in the dungeon and someone else will come in and be like, oh, where's the guard? And he'll like nick, I don't know, these helmets. I Oop, sorry, I'm still behind you. What is that? Oh no, they stay behind me. Alright, this must no be the guy. The I'm, yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Hello. I don't know who you are, nor do I care. All I know is that I want you to leave. Alright, see you later then. <laughs> uh, stolen gold. I'm not talking to you about anything. You're an outsider. I bet you're trying to trick me into telling something and the guards put you up to it. Uh, no. That fetcher of a guard, Terelius, is always trying to be sneaky. Well, you can forget it. Tell him it isn't going to work. All right, quest updated. Two sides of the coin. Uh, so what am I meant to do now? Talk to a guard. Don't get too close to what the hell is that? No idea. All right, so this is our new quest updated. Uh, Juno refused to speak to me. He said that he doesn't talk to outsiders. I think he's referring to the fact that I'm not a prisoner. Sounds like the only way to get him to talk to me is to go. Oh, okay, that's easy. I can do that. Find me anything decent you have. Two gold. Stop! <laughs> you violated the law. Pay the court. Yes, go to jail. Hope you rot, criminal scum. It's only two gold. Wow. Some people. Alright, I committed a crime and been sent to jail. Perhaps now I can convince the jury to tell me about the stolen good. Man, this is... <laughs> okay, we have got two beds at least. He could still think I'm like working with the guards, couldn't he? Um, he could have just thought that this might be our new plan. And if he thought that, then I'll be screwed. Stuck here for like the next ten years. What are they talking about? Are they talking to the guard? You're going to end up rotting here anyway, you idiot. You idiot. Look, you horse's ass. I never trusted city guardsmen. Never. So I'm definitely not going to start trusting you, Terelius. Suit yourself. Oh, it's Terelius. I don't talk to inmates. Now shut up and don't bother me. Well, you're talking You're talking to him, Favisism. All right, let's talk to him. By the way, the guards tossed you in here. I can see you're no friend of theirs. Okay, it worked then. Cool, uh, stolen gold. I suppose I can trust you. In fact, maybe you can help me with a bit of a problem and make some money for yourself in the process. Nice. I'm in here for the long haul. They got me for murder, even though I didn't do it. And once the Count makes a ruling, there's no way it's changing. To be fair, I've, I've murdered I'll a few people and I've only been chucked in jail for like a night until Arnora. I slept. Alright, uh, what did Arenia do to you? You want to know what happened? I'll tell you. I was betrayed, stabbed in the back. I'm in here and Arnora's out there living in my house. Ah, uh, we were doing petty crimes all over Cyrodiil. Small scores. Ten gold here, twenty-five there. Nothing big enough to have them investigate you. Then along comes Arnora with a plan to waylay a tax shipment headed for the Imperial City. We're talking serious gold, complete with armed escorts. I told her she was crazy, but she insisted. Women have a way of getting men to do what they want. So we did it. We ambushed the shipment. In the process, Arnora killed a guard. I told her to be careful and just knock them out, but she didn't listen. We then buried the gold in the woods. Supplies. Suddenly, the campsite gets raided by the Bruma City Guard. There's no way they could have found us. Oh, well, there's no doubt she tipped them off. But I was one step ahead. I had moved the loot while she was away. <laughs> My final revenge, or was it? Okay, that's interesting then. So a completely different story from a different side. I'm, I'm quite, I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying this quest. Uh, what are you getting, getting at? I'll tell you. I want Arnora dead. That's right, I said dead. She took my life away, and now I want hers taken as well. You do this for me, and you get the gold. All of it. All I need is proof. Is that damn amulet she always wears? Show that to me, and the money's yours. 
All right. Um, I wonder if we get like a choice, either believing him or believing her. I didn't trust her anyway. Um, that whole, well, we need to hold her things, but that doesn't classify me as a thief. Yes, it does. Finally, a chance. <laughs> Question is, how am I going to get out of here? Oh yeah, I will have to do is sleep. <laughs> that was her take on it. So, were you able to find out about the gold or not? Oh, I do want to tell her though. Um, I kind of want. Uh, what should we do? I don't know. This is actually quite a difficult choice. So if I tell her this, then I'll tell her everything that he told me. I mean, it's her fault. She did drag me into this, and I don't do well with quick decisions, pressure decisions. Uh, I can't even say the word properly. Taste for rats too while you were in there. <laughs> she seems too happy. I should probably get a sword out and not my fists. <sighs> probably making the wrong choice here, most likely. <laughs> she just doesn't seem bothered. I've just put the sword out, <laughs> and she's turned her back help, against me. Help! <laughs> Alright, I've slain Owen. I should take the amulet off her body and bring it to uh, that person. Alright. Hopefully, I stop right oh, there, damn. criminal scum! Nobody breaks the law on my watch. I'm confiscating your stolen goods. Oh, off to jail again. Hope you. Well, maybe I should just pay gold. That's fine. Show me the proof. Uh, oh, I have to hang on. One second. I mean, surely the proof is now I'm in jail. 